Okay. Let's also talk a little bit about what came down at the UIL meeting last week. We, we mentioned this briefly, but last week the UIL had their normal scheduled legislative council meeting. That is the big, that is their Supreme Court, so to speak. Uh, it's not that powerful. I mean, it is, but yeah. Um, scheduled, and so they, they took on a lot of different topics and ruled on a few different things. If you watch these meetings, a lot of these meetings are like, hey, we should actually compensate the officials, like, uh, instead of uh, counting, like, instead of counting the, um, you know, the, the, like, the half by the half mile, we should be able to do, like, decimals, stuff like that, like, yeah. little things like that. Yeah. It's, a lo it's a lot of, like, watching these meetings is, is, is boring. It's, it's nerd stuff. But one thing that was of note, uh, is that they did allow they they ruled that that on Friday nights in the fall, mm -hmm. you uh, teams can or they are now available. Texas High School Ball games are now available for broadcast online streaming. Online streaming. You may remember that last year they they there was a long standing rule that you could not you could not broadcast live Friday night. Texas high school football games. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, here in DFW, there was, uh, like, I think TXA 21 did a game that was on, or CW 33, CW 33 did a game that was on tape delay. Tape delay, Right? Yeah. Um, and I think there's and one in Houston area. And you can air it at, area. like, 10 yeah. o'clock at you can air, night. Like, you, can you can air it as, that basically night. as soon as the game's over. Uh, yeah. You can. But you just can't, you can't do, do it, it live. live. Right. You can't do it live. As a result, they are, uh, <laughs> but they they went through, and your sign fell down. Yes. Um, Thank you for that. As a... Uh, uh, but last year, because of the pandemic and because of, um, uh, what am I saying? Because of the restrictions, oh, yeah, restrictions, yeah, restrictions tickets, sell, sales, and, and things like yeah, that, yeah, and attendance and things like that. The the people who wanted to watch high school football didn't go away; they just couldn't be in the stadium. Yeah. And so the UIL said, "Okay, let's go ahead and um, and allow streaming." or allow games to be broadcast on Friday nights this year, mm -hmm. in 2020, one time only because of the public health emergency. Right. I thought that was pretty good, pretty, pretty smart move, in my the opinion. Pandy. Right. As a result, now they've kind of taken it, taken on the, the question again, and they're going to allow online streaming again in 2021. This is the point in which I tell you that Dave Campbell's Texas Football does own Texan Live, which is a streaming service where you can add them. So whenever you hear me talking, think of me in that way. But... This was, I think this was relatively inevitable. Uh, this felt like to last year. To be fair year. to you, we've thought that for a while. We have thought that for a while. I You've said that on the show we've, before. We've had conversations oh, yeah. for, for a while yeah. that I think, and, and I, don't, I don't have any inside information from the UIL. Right. But my feeling for the past couple of years was that they were interested in exploring they have been getting pressure from school districts who want to stream their games, right. who want to do their games. And I think they wanted to have an opportunity to do this. I think the pandemic accelerated, accelerated that process, mm -hmm. gave them a way to do a trial period mm -hmm. that everybody was like, yeah, that makes sense. I think it, I don't want to say gave them an excuse, but it gave them a reason to accelerate it. Sure. Right. Then it all goes pretty well. I think most people were pretty happy with it. If you talk to coaches uh, and administrators, most of them, the majority of them, were happy with it because they wouldn't do this if, if coaches didn't want it. I mm -hmm. should just tell you that. And and so they're going to let it go again. Uh, this is at least for 2021. I don't think that toothpaste is going back in the tube. I don't no. think so either. Because, I mean, we all, you know one of the criticisms or one of the, the pushbacks against that was always like, oh, you know, anybody could just kind of throw up a stream and all that. But what we saw last fall was – you mentioned it. A lot of school districts putting together really good broadcasts, mm -hmm. right? And, they, and and I remember because when I was putting together the watch guides, like you know, it, sure you had some third party companies coming in and putting together some stuff. They did a really good job as well. But for the most part, it was school districts wanting to put on their own games with their own team mm -hmm. and kind of you know because mm -hmm. like the other thing was like you know it wouldn't be it wouldn't be. Um, uh, the other, I guess, another pushback would be like it wouldn't be able to be like sanctioned or like you know it'd be like again random guy putting up something. They're not beholden to like necessarily anybody. Yeah. But again, the school districts were the ones really doing the majority of them, and of course, the people that they clear, people mm -hmm. that they're okay with them, uh, people that want to call the games. And so I think what they saw last year was uh, that that kind of pushback was kind of alleviated in many in many ways. Yes. And if they want to take it out to a third party they're the like the schools are they're, the ones, the that, ones that negotiate that yeah. their own deal and yeah. the yeah. other part of it too i think that people were obviously concerned about the gate revenue yeah the love for going to a friday night game I, is not going away it will still be I, it, it, yeah. it, all this is going to do in my mind is grow the sport even more 
because you're going to have the same people go to the games that always go to the games. Yeah. But now it'll be available for Joe Schmo, who's watching and saying, I want football to watch. Oh, well, why don't we watch out this high school game? It's right. just going to grow the sport. You're not losing anything. For people like me and, you know, to a much bigger extent, Matt Stepp, mm -hmm. you know, he's going to be at a game in RGV. He's going to be able to throw on a game in San Antonio. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so um, yeah, I think it's a couple of things. And we could probably we probably could have segmented this whole thing. But um, first and foremost, I, I think that I, I had friends asking me, like, why wasn't this? Uh, the UIL, by the way, doesn't get a cut of revenue for, for these games right. in the regular season. No. School districts own these games outright. And so with that in mind, I had people who don't follow high school football who were like, that, then why haven't they done it forever? And you, you touched on it. The big concern, the big kind of boogeyman, I don't mean that in a derivative sense, the, the, the big scary monster was, oh, we're going to lose gate revenue. People right. are going to stay home and, and, and not go to the game. I think people are starting to realize that that's unfounded. Right. Mm -hmm. I think people are starting to realize, and I had that concern too, to be clear. I think people are starting to learn, no, people who want to go to high school football games are going to go to high school football games. Every NFL game is available to you. They're mm -hmm. still selling out every stadium. Exactly. Okay? Like that is, there's like very few people are going to choose – now, there are going to be instances where it's like, if it's super cold outside, maybe, but like right. I, that's only going to be in December at that point. Playoff games can be televised anyway. Mm -hmm. I would say that that was, that is starting to lose a little bit of steam, well, is that argument. And you know, get, think, right think so. about who goes to games too. Fan parents, mm -hmm. cheerleader parents, parents, dancer parents, mm -hmm. kids who are at the school go to hang out with their friends. Those people aren't going to just go away and not go watch their daughter cheer because they're more interested Absolutely. in watching other football games. Like, that's yeah. not going to happen. I mean, dad might be on his phone. You know exactly. I mean? but, but, <laughs> but the other thing, here's, here's the other thing. I also think you brought up a great point. I think this is going to, I think that Texas, you have to think of Texas high school football as a brand. Mm -hmm. You have to think of Texas high school football in the same way you think of that. NFL, you think about the NBA, NHL, all those leagues. I think this has an opportunity to really grow interest in the sport. It is going to be a lot more accessible to a lot more people, mm -hmm. and I think that that is going to be a net positive. Now, again, look, I've tried to be very clear that I work for a company that owns some uh, owns a, a, a streaming service, mm -hmm. and so, yes, Dave Campbell's Texas football does stand to benefit from this, so to be clear. But I think overall the ability to let these games be streamed – I mean, we see this every 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 time the state championships are on. Mm -hmm. now, state championship, you get people who are like from out of state or people who don't ever, never watch high school football who lock in for these state championship games and then go, this is awesome. I love Texas high school football. This is an opportunity, I think, to, mm -hmm. to feed that growing, um, that, that growing desire to get into. I think there's a bigger fan base for Texas high school football out there that maybe doesn't have access to it. I think this can expand access to it. That's my media. It, it takes regional things too, because like I, my yeah. dad, for example, he always knew what was going on in the Central Texas region. You you keep up with those teams because you see them in the local paper. You do that. Now he was like, now on a Thursday night, I'll turn on some crazy West Texas game, yes. and it's like, and it's just fun at that point. Yes. And it's cool to grow for more of a state knowledge rather than just keeping up with your regional teams. Yes, I think you're right. Um, okay. There's that. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out texasfootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at texasfootball.com slash subscribe.